Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here with my last layout using the June kits. I just couldn't put it away yet, even though the July kit is gorgeous. I wanted to show you this cut file that I downloaded from my Silhouette, uh, Silhouette Studio or Silhouette software, and I cut it out on some white cardstock and I backed it with that awesome Simple Stories paper. Now, I did add this one piece of paper from my stash, but it's from the poolside collection, so it coordinates really well with the kit because there is some poolside in the kit. I just didn't have a full 12 by 12 paper left that I could back this layout with. So, I mean, I always think that it's okay to add things from your own stash. It gives you a chance to use them up and, you know, you're you're not limited to just the kit when you when you work, but although I try to as as you know, working with the kits and for design purposes to only use kit products. In this case I made an exception because I really wanted a colorful background for this layout because it's it it was easy and it was hard if that's if that makes any sense at all. It was easy because the title and like a big focal point of the design was already done just by cutting out that um, cut file. It was hard because I don't I don't think I've ever used a cut file like this on a layout and especially being so big and it was hard for me to make it look like it was embellished without it looking too busy if this probably makes no sense at all if you've worked with a layout like this then you probably understand what I'm where I'm coming from and if not then I'm sorry I hope that that you can take something away from this <laughs> And that part of it makes sense. Anyhow, I just went through the kit and pulled out some different embellishments. I used a lot of stickers from the 6x12 sticker sheet from the Poolside Collection. Some of the ephemera pieces I layered under the photo here. I didn't want to do too much, like I said, but I wanted it to look like a finished layout. I used a pop dot on this little sun sticker and put it up in the corner. I thought that was really cute. And I also used some of the geotags from the Evolicious wood veneer. So I'm just layering some different ephemera pieces and stickers underneath the photo. I only matted it with one pattern paper which was also from the poolside collection. It was that yellow striped one. And then I'm adding this. I've gotten the most mileage out of this one little strip sticker which is the one with the red and kind of pink Swiss crosses on it. I used it on another layout and then I used two more strips of it here just to give something to the right side because I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to put over there. And now I'm taking these little embellishments from crepe paper and what I did, and I think I show it later in the video, is I take the end of, it's almost like a, a tool that you would use to pierce paper for a brad, and I pull the little epoxy center out of the wood part so that it just looks like little uh, enamel dots but that are patterned instead of using that whole big wood thing because it was a little too bulky for this particular layout. I think they're super cute. It just didn't work for this one. And then I scattered in some enamel dots also, and I will go back and add some more. I've decided I want to add some journaling to this layout, and I wanted to do it on a tag. So what I'm going to do is take this just manila tag and run it through my typewriter and type some journaling on it. It is not perfect. As you can see, my typewriter is moving as I'm typing because it doesn't stick to my table. But... It gets the job done and it looks very handmade, so I'm going to go with it. I'm also not very good at lining, making it straight and all that. So there you have the journaling, and I'm going to put a couple little things on, on this tag. I'm sorry if you hear our puppy barking. She's clearly trying to get somebody's attention. I'm going to use a roller date stamp, and then I'm going to use this stamp from Studio Calico that I've had forever, and it's just all the states. I'm going to put California on there. This was a picture that I took from the airplane when we were landing in San Francisco for our honeymoon. And I just thought it was really pretty and I hadn't scrapped it yet. So I wanted to incorporate it. Another reason why I backed this layout with the pattern paper is because in my honeymoon album, all the layouts are on white cardstock with a pattern paper background. So I really wanted to keep that consistency for the album, even though I was working with the kit. I didn't want to change my style or what I was doing to fit the kit. I wanted to make the kit fit my style. And I think that's an important thing when you work with kits is always make it fit your aesthetics and what you like. So now you can see here I'm, I just popped that little one out 
with the um, that little tool, and I'm going to add a few more enamel dots, and that is going to finish up this layout. Again, I apologize for the barking in the background. I'm going to let y'all go. Check out the hip kits. The July kits are awesome. I already did an open box video, and next week you'll see a layout using those. Thanks, guys, so much for watching, and here are some close-ups. Bye.